is different. Like a man does like that, that probably makes them feel really good and like well, then it, wanted. It logically and, follows, then it would logically follow that if the idea is because this is what men like to see, that if a man would like to see his wife getting plowed by another man, what exactly could ever be your objection to that? You said you have uh, three kids from the same man. Yes. You stripped. Uh, you did girl on girl. Um, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> what? Let's just. I don't. These, these I, were in the right, right. Notes. Oh, I know, but can we just be conscientious of like wording, right here for certain Dance. reasons? Uh, okay, You're concerned. You, are you concerned that your kids are going to hear this? Uh, yeah. I mean, I told my daughters that I was going on the podcast, and they're older, but I'm going to really. Um, like my son likes this podcast because he's very into Wait, tradition. How old, how old's your son? He's in sixth grade. Wait, he shouldn't. I know. I, he, Andrew he Tate and you guys. So many. No, he shouldn't be dating. He's not dating. In fact, he just told me this first week in middle school. He's like, mom, somebody has a crush on me. And uh, I was like, okay. And he said, but it's a little too early for you know me. What, and though? I'm not interested. And he's like, and I'm not interested. Yeah. And it's too early yeah. for me. And it's different for boys and girls, too. So Come to think of it, I was listening to Love Line <laughs> when I was, like, in junior I, oh, high Oh, you know school. what? I was, too. Yeah. Adam Carolla. Died. Yeah. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? So let's just hold on a second. Is this worse? I feel like this show's probably more tame. Your son should not be watching this. Than Love Line. <laughs> I think it's more tame than Love Line. What's Love Line? It's, like, a K-Rock It was a radio thing. Yeah. <laughs> show call um, people would call in let's not talk about all of the notes that i said um i can oh, uh, what i will say what i will i know notes. i know i know and i forgot to say that i mentioned Invite on, one, me on the show and okay. i'll talk about this right, but hold on a second hold i just i will say that um my kid's dad so going back to like wanting to be a virgin for your partner right i i agree with that in a perfect society Wait, that's not even the topic what okay, are you talking about it, it's gonna tie into it Okay. All right. So I was 18 when I met my kid's dad, and he was 25, I think. Um, he lost his job. He was a mason, and then um, pressured me into stuff that was going to support us. And I was young, <laughs> and uh, that's what he said to do. And uh, then I got pregnant. So it was a very short period of time, two years. Then I got pregnant, and I said, like, look, like, you got to, like, get a job, man. And he did. And, uh, yeah, but this was, you know, it was a part of my past that I, I'm, I will say that I'm not proud of it. But I'm also, you know, and I'm also not open about it. So it's just... It's the, the point of that is that like you can come sometimes do be in these situations and come out having you know different values. Those weren't my values. I didn't like that. You know what I mean? I felt pressured into doing it from a man that I loved that I thought I was going to be with forever, and I was with for 12 years. I mean, you do include that in the notes. You say, I know. The, okay, let's. Can you let me can let, you stop interrupting? No, because I'm just. Uh, want you, you can to... stop. Okay, so you said at the insistence of your kid's father. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I was going to say. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, I mean, I like, don't, I don't really understand it though. I mean, they're gonna know all this shit sooner or later. Anyway, uh, right? Yeah, and it's just you know, I have been open with my daughters about stuff now that they're older, but um, okay, it's not for everyone yet. All right. Um, so, you and also another thing that I said as well, um, I'm gonna. Say you want to preemptively. Hillary okay, well, I just thought about some of this stuff. dollars comes on the podcast to discuss dating. Is too ashamed to discuss it because of her kids. Maybe that's a sign for all I don't have girls OnlyFans. and sex workers. Good, that is a good point. Hillary. Yeah, I don't. I don't have OnlyFans, and I do think that's a good point. Like when I think about you girls, like that say you want kids. You guys all say you want kids and stuff like that. Like you have to. Th think about those things, you know, like this was a different time when, when I was 18, like there wasn't OnlyFans, there wasn't like, it was just different, you know, there's 
certain magazines that were out that aren't in existence anymore that you know like it was just a different uh, level of things it wasn't 5.99 for like selling as part of your soul i feel like still sex work wait is mine sex work even though it's just dates it's yeah yeah right because at the end of the day they're only going on dates with me because they want to i don't know um <laughs> i don't know uh, no way. So what? To find it a sex what are the okay. what are the other things you want to preemptively tell me okay. to not talk about? Um, I'm okay with the age gap thing, and okay. we can talk about that. I mean, I'm not. I try to be uh, reasonable with people, but we can talk about the age gap. It's just like here, invite me on your show, and here's what I like. You're like, in, it's like a fraudulent inducement. Yeah, I was, I was. No, but it's like somebody's on, like, let me on the show. I'll talk about X, mm -hmm. Y, Z. I invite you no, on the I, show, I understand. and then you refuse to talk about X, Y, Z. It's kind of like, whatever. It's yeah. okay. I'm no, not, I, I I'm just thought it was going to be framed a little bit, bit differently, and um, I also thought we'd talk about some other topics okay. like politically. You said you were also liberal until your mid twenties, yeah. a Democrat until mm -hmm. 2019, ex-vegan, and now you're a hardcore conservative Trump supporter. Although I do still have some sexually liberal viewpoints still personally, but I'm very against a certain agenda, which I'm yes. not going to name. I've been broken up from the father of my kids for eight years. Yeah. Only date guys from Texas talked about that uh, because California guys are mostly trash. Uh, going to the, okay, used to be liberal when you were young, mm -hmm. Democrat until 2019, ex-vegan, now hardcore conservative Trump supporter. But you have some sexually sexually liberal viewpoints still. What are those? Yeah. Well, um, so I would say that I think it's like threesomes, for instance. I think that those are acceptable and uh, really dependent on the discussion that you have with your partner. Okay. And so, um, like boy, boy. Girl, I, I would, in a relationship with a man, which is the only kind of relationship I'm in, I'm, I'm open to a girl, girl, guy. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. I, <laughs> you're right. You don't want to, you don't want the boy to know that you strip, but you're okay with him knowing that you would be willing to engage in a threesome. I just want to make sure I got that correct. Okay. Is that, well, is, thanks is, for I, putting the words here? out there like that. Um, yeah, I, I feel like uh, I didn't. I've watched some of this show, and I thought we might be talking about more like political stuff. So I was kind of, a, Wait, you it's know, a I, mean, I know it do, is, but you look, do talk do. about it a yes, lot, and I was talk really about looking forward stuff, to that. But the political stuff, while it comes up, tends yeah. to be secondary okay. to the dating conversations. Okay. I, I'll just point that out. So I guess I'm just trying to say that you can, um, you know, you can have had a certain mm -hmm. past, and then you could change it I, and I mean truthfully I don't really if you want to have threesomes I don't really have any objections there Did yeah but have, I think that some people are, are against that that are more conservative okay. you Did you, you yeah said, I'm against that 100% well, yeah same I, I don't I want to really get bogged down I don't understand at all how the idea uh, hey, that can, can you guys the, stop talking over there that the, that your past could be brought up here when it comes to uh, these decisions when it, when it really as it relates to dating uh huh um, somehow that's taboo, mm. but this this idea that you would be open to having a three way is not taboo. I, I I really don't understand that at all. Well, because I, like I said, I I'm not proud of and regret the past decisions. This is something why? that I'm. Why the fuck would you be uh, not proud of any of the, if you're willing to have a three way? What the hell? Who gives a shit about whatever the uh, these other like tangential things are? Who cares? Like, why would that even be a big deal if you're if I you're care. like if you're willing to share your man, let him fuck other women in front of you? Why in the world would whatever your past is be in any way problematic? I don't I don't even understand that. Like you're willing to watch him suck another dude off in uh, front of you, but the past the past that's a little too problematic. I really do need to understand this. That why I'm okay with threesomes and not yeah, well, okay with my past? I assume, I assume, I, well, yeah, I assume that 
you say, okay, well, this former thing I did, I felt some shame about. That's why mm-hmm. you, you don't like it, right? But currently, you're willing to sit in the cuck chair while your husband does another chick. Is that correct? Mm, I don't think that that scenario would turn out that way. But I Which just, way? Well, how would this scenario turn out? I wouldn't be sitting in a chair. <laughs> um, yeah, right. No, no, no. You'd be participating, <laughs> right? Like but, but, but if you were participating and, and, he, and you were watching, you would be watching your husband bang okay. another chick or your significant other bang another yes. chick in front of you. Right? So I, I mean, think that, that, that men are designed biologically to want to be with, with lots of women. I think that's just designed that way biologically with their DNA in, in, a, in a hope to, to spread their seed more, to replicate their DNA, right? Just, that's I mean, just I'll just biologically all of this. it, right? I'll just, I'll just For grant me every as a bit girl, I, just, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't uh, I don't think it's okay to be with uh, another man, but I think that sometimes uh, if you can open that up in your relationship, it can be uh, really fulfilling and prevent cheating on, sometimes as well. Yeah, okay. I'll, I mean, I'm just going to kind of grant all of the idea that men and men want to sleep with multiple women mm-hmm. and this and that. I have no problem just granting all of this. What I do have a problem granting is what in the world could you possibly look at in your past that you would consider to be shameful? If you're okay sharing your husband with or significant other with another woman, how is that not kind of the ultimate form of shame? Um, that because that's a private thing that you've both agreed upon in your relationship. Not yeah, but I, I mean that's forum. not any less shameful. There's cucks who agree to allow their wife to get banged by other dudes. That doesn't make it less shameful because it's private. I think. A man letting his wife be touched by another man is very different than a girl having a wife having a threesome with her. Oh, I would love to hear what the delineation is. <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> really? I just, it's kind of mind blowing that you can't determine, like, you don't see a difference with the two. No, nah, that's not an argument. Just saying, oh, I'm, in, I'm incredulous about your incredulity is not an argument. I'd actually like to know what is the distinction between you being the cuck and him being the cuck? What is the distinction? If he's plowing another chick and you're allowing him to do it, how can I ever gauge that you are a person who has self-respect? If I would never consider a man who would allow the same the other way, I'd never give him any form of self-respect. Isn't a cuck, like, by definition, a guy who, like, gets off on watching his wife be with another man? Yeah, wouldn't this be the exact same thing in reverse? Uh, no, I'm not saying that it's getting, like, I'm not watching. First of all, I'm participating. And second of all, it oh, is so something that's fulfilling him, not fulfilling me. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. So if a man is participating while his wife is getting banged, then he's not a cuck? Uh, I don't really have experience in that scenario. So <laughs> yeah, that's well, just, just not something I would be into. That's not something I'd be into. If a man is participating, <laughs> if a man is participating in his wife getting banged and he's participating in that, he's not a cuck now? Or he is still a cuck? I think it's probably different than being a cuck, maybe. But it's still not something I would be okay with. How, how is that different? A, a cuck is allowing somebody else to plow your chick. That's what a cuck is. Okay, so if, you if allow, that's the exact purpose definition, to allow a dude I thought it was just To plow your chick, you're a cuck. How, how would this not be just like basically reverse cuckism, right? <laughs> well, I just think that in my scenario of two girls and a, and a guy, with it being like your significant other, that... For me, like, I really enjoy fulfilling. It's fulfilling to me to, like, make my man happy. And if that's something that makes him happy. If he said to me, it would really make me happy to have another dude, I would say no. Paladins donated $100.02. My past bad decisions are shameful and be hidden from society. My future bad decisions are open for discussion. You've got the mental maturity of a toddler. Stove hot. Maybe I shouldn't touch it again. Thank you, Lil Okay, Paladins. thank you. Appreciate it. Good to see you in the chat, man. Um, I mean, honestly, I was more interested if if there were, you said you still have some sexually liberal viewpoints. Yeah, Is I thought that was it. Is it just the threesomes? That. Is that uh, it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought there was more. Do you mm-hmm. want to, Andrew, do you have more on That's this? It. or? That's it. Yeah, I, I, I still, I'm still struggling here. Um, 
with the with the delineation point, why is there an actual difference if your husband wanted to watch you get banged by another dude? Why would that be different, really, than you allowing him to bang another chick? I, I don't really understand what the distinction here. I mean, I think that like there's not really societies. There are like societies where a man has had multiple wives. There's multiple societies around the world and in history where that is acceptable, right? But you don't ever see it the other way around. So I guess it just is that way. Yeah, that's for a an appeal to history, right? It's fallacious argumentation on its face. You're just appealing to how things used to be. You're not telling us why they no, should I'm, be that I'm way saying now. They are that way because that's just the way that it is. It's fallen in line that way, and I think they're different. Oh, it is what it is? No, they're obviously that, that, that different. Tell, listen, listen, it doesn't tell me anything to say to me. So let me give you some more history. Here's some, here's some great history as well. The West has stayed monogamous under some form of Catholicism for uh, almost time immemorial. Catholicism made the demand that the West stay monogamous, uh, meaning one man, one woman. Mm -hmm. So you were kind of appealing past even the identity of the West, which uh, has mandated this basically forever, mm -hmm. right? Wouldn't that be more of our history than the idea of having these kind of open relationships where you can just screw whoever you want? Um, I, I don't, I think that there's many successful couples that have, um, this has worked for them and it's not whoever you want, it's maybe what you guys have defined is okay with both of you. So it's not just whoever. I mean, maybe some relationships are like that. They're just open to whoever. That wouldn't be something that I would be interested in. Okay, okay. So let me back up. I'm just going to make this as concise as I can because it's very evasive what's happening. I feel like you're doing everything you can to kind of duck the question. So I'm just going to be as blunt and concise as I can be. A man having sex with two women is different than a woman having sex with two men. How? Well, it. Are we talking about just strangers? Or are we talking about a married couple? Any couple, or any variation of any configuration well. of couple you can possibly think of. How is this? A, how? What is the difference here? Because I think uh, I don't think. I mean, a man doesn't want to see. It's not desirable for a woman to be with multiple men and a man wouldn't want to see that because they're naturally possessive and want what's theirs. But for a woman to share, I think is different. Like a man does like that. That probably makes him feel really good and like well, then it, wanted. It and follows, then it would logically follow that if the idea is because this is what men like to see, that if a man would like to see his wife getting plowed by another man, what exactly could ever be your objection to that? I'm not saying that, I'm just talking about my own personal preference. That can be a scenario that some couples are okay with, and it, I'm sure it is. It's not for me. Okay, but, but you think, but I, I just want to make sure that we're totally clear. The only delineation point that you can see is how this isn't basically exactly the same thing in reverse, because mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is in reverse. It's just that men prefer it not to be that way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do, you, do I mean, does anybody agree or disagree with me? Uh, no. Let's just move on. <laughs> Giovanni Jade donated $100. If my wife went on a podcast with million of viewers and talked about getting porked by some Z list scumbags and his friends, I'd leave her so fast. I'm if he sticks single. with you, he's a cuck and deserves oh. you. Oh. I took some MILF. I'm not sure how to respond to that. I think that's a fair point. Um, I, I guess I don't totally disagree, uh, but I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to respond. Mm -hmm. Fair point. Okay. I guess. I don't know. All right. Thank you, uh, Giovanni. Hillary Epstein donated $100. Is LA just a cesspool for degeneracy? Why are so many of girls, sex workers, or just scam men? Why is she mad about stripping? Your mm. son should be ashamed. That one really hurt. Um, yeah. Do you want to respond? Uh, just, you know, like... Yeah. 
he he might end up being like I really only care about what my kids think and uh, nobody else really. So you know maybe it wasn't the best decision to come on here. Like I said, I thought we might have talked about other things um, mm -hmm. that I was more interested in talking about. But um, but yeah, you know we have a very close bond and. Um, He's getting older, and I'm sure he's going to realize, you know, he has a hot mom. He's going to be getting into high school. That he's going to have to deal with a lot of stuff. So, took some milf. <laughs> how is this? How is this not a political topic? This is a very hot political topic. In fact, you're talking about the discussion of traditional families, marriage, the structure of society itself. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be a more political topic. And so if you say on the politics front that you're okay with non-monogamous relationships where they're opened up to having other sexual partners, you are talking about the social order and the political order of society. I don't, I don't, I don't even understand why those would be distinct in your brain. What political topics did you want to talk about exactly? Mm, let's see. 